It is Friday, time to take a breather, time to let your hair down so you can relax for the weekend. It's been a super eventful week, so away from all that happened in Ejura, away from everything that has happened in Wa and all that we have experienced this week, let's talk about family because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, family is all that matters. I'm sure you can get some peace of mind from your family or sometimes when you marry well from your marriage as well. So it goes to say that it is really important who you marry and um, how you settle down for that marriage. Now the interesting question we are asking this morning on Hat Bay is who's got the final say on who you should marry? Is it your biological father, your dad, or is it that man you call your pastor, that man you've known all these years in your local church who has pastored you or who's been guiding you and praying for you? Is he the one who's got the final say? Now, we got a letter which we want to look at this morning in connection with this very topic or this very question that we are asking this morning. I'm going to get straight into it because we don't want to waste any more time. And it says, Dear TV3 New Day, I am in my late 30s and have finally found a man who wants to marry me. I told my pastor, who has been a father to me from the age of 13, about it, and he told me he was going to pray. Fortunately for me, he says we have his blessings to go on with the marriage. As early as 13 years, my father stopped taking care of me because he had issues with my mother, which led to a divorce. However, out of respect for my biological father, I decided to show the man I am about to marry and I informed him about our marriage. I think... That was the biggest mistake of my life. My biological father says he's not going to give me his blessing if I decide to marry this particular man. But the thing is, my pastor has already given me his blessings anyway. And the big question for this morning, this young lady in her 30s is asking, is that what should she do? And that's the question I asked earlier before I read the text, that who has the final say on who you should marry? Should it be your biological father or maybe an uncle who took care of you, who you can also call father since he's the one who took care of you? Or is it your spiritual father or that spiritual figure in your life? Many of us call people spiritual fathers. I've heard it many times, especially on Father's Day, which we celebrated just a few weeks ago. Many people celebrated not just their biological fathers, but their spiritual fathers as well. Let's get into the discussion and know which exact direction this young lady should take this morning. Joining me is Councillor George Castenson Lutrot. He is a marriage counsellor and Pastor Selassie Adai, head pastor, Apostolic Empowerment Ministries. He's been here a number of times. Um, his face is not new anymore. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am really, really well. Uncle George. Yeah. What do you, what, I see some, I'm not aware. Well, no, I'm going to give it to you. What is it? Oh, take it. What is it? It is what, this is what I make my money out of. Oh, so you make this? Yes, that's what Ginger, honey, chips. Try What it. is this supposed to do? Like clear it my throat? It clears your Those of you talking. Right. Just do it. This I is mean, good for us. High zinc. Okay. And this is well prepared. Right. You can put it in cocoa and drink. Okay. Even tea. I mean, this okay. is meant for the kotoko losers, actually. Oh, my God. Ukuma mm. prima. Ginger, but I'm worried. Would it be bought? I'm pissing now. Now the ginger and the cracker. Next time, we share. We share a class of food. Fantastic. Ah, Ghana and I had the same. Good to have you this morning. Charlie, thank, thank you, you very so much. For let, your let me time. take opportunity here mm. and say congratulations to the minister, Greater Accra Minister. Mm. I think um, uh, we are not saying this to. If Nana Kufuado is Excellency the President, mm. remove this man today. Mm. He's made history. Right. That it's not you. that we are happy for. He's done what everybody decides not to do. And okay. I think that when the president said he wants to change Accra, mm. he wanted to do it in his last turn. And the right person to is God now. And the garland, we are supporting this man spiritually, physically, and everything. Because So okay. we, are, we are praying for him. And we say congratulations to him. all the people support. And the president. Okay. Because we had those days that when you are doing all, then a, a bigger man will give yeah. a phone call. Uncle George. So congratulations so we've, to him. We've talked about all of that extensively this morning. I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but um, let's just get to the matter of the day because unfortunately ah, there yes. isn't too much time. Yeah, can you know no power in your man? Tim put me that sick. Uh so on TV or air in your internet. Anyway, Pastor Salasi, 
Um, there's a there's a letter we have this morning. We need to address this young lady. And um, this story is super familiar. And I know many people exactly. out there can identify with this story. It's happened to me before. It has. This is my story right there. I didn't write this one, mm. but this is my story. Some time ago, it, it happened. And why are you looking at me funny? You don't really know anything about me. I haven't no, told I, you my I stories not, before. Yes, you know, to me, mm. this story, mm. attempting to marry mm. you. Yeah, why? Uh, was it recent or before? Uh, what, what does that matter? It doesn't matter. Um. But anyway. Pastor Salasi, okay. um, you've pastored this lady ever since she was 13. So she sees you as a father figure yeah. in, 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 in her life. And obviously, her father has been absent for all these years. And, well, it's the part about you want to go and pray about it that I want to ask now. Does prayer really um, approve or disapprove of the person you want to marry? Does it really, really work if okay. you want to marry somebody? Okay. It's a very, very deep question, but my answer is simple. I think that we make our choice. Our choice must reflect the choice of God. When I say it must reflect the choice of God, there must be certain things based on a Christian that must be your guideline. But, but people have mm. prayed, and at the end, they were sure that, that this is the right path, and it failed. So for me, mm. it is not necessarily that prayer is helping me make the right decision. Say that again. So what? People have trusted God, fasted and prayed, and then at the end of the day, it turned out that this okay, wasn't even the partner. This has been my point over right. the years. Okay. People use God. Mm. I hide behind I, I speak in tongues. I hide behind I'm a Christian. And I, I don't want to develop myself for myself so that I can benefit my partner. It won't work. So God did not create us as robots. From my home to from wherever I stay, coming here, with counselor, God did not just pick counselor and throw counselor. Counselor, come and be on the set. Counselor was responsible. And the, that is the problem of the church today. Mm. We don't, there is no sense of true responsibility and attitude building mm. and character building. No character development. So we let everything hide behind prayer. No, if it's only about prayer, trust me, every Christian relationship should work. Mm. Counselor, what do you make of this? Well, in the first place, mm. no prayer point in this world can give you a husband or a wife. Mm. Okay. Anybody that receives a, pro a prophetic marriage mm. will die prophetically in the marriage. Meaning, if you go to mm -hmm. church and the pastor so says, Oh, yeah, Cookie, I see that Kwamina entry is it's your very, husband. He's a very wicked man of God. Mm. Actually, it's a sin. You mean those words are not from God? Marriage, there's nothing called church marriage. The church has no marriage. The examples in the biblical perspective about marriages, marriages, it is just to depict unionization and for us to find a common ground to understand things. Okay. But there's nothing called Christian marriage. So the church doesn't have a marriage. The focus of us as men of God is to raise women and men who have focus that there is a place called heaven. No, but Uncle George... Not if, marriage. Uncle George, wait. If, if, if the church doesn't have... Um, um, did you say the church doesn't have marriage? Ah, we don't have marriage. But the pastors in the churches are recognized by the government that, as, as people who can officiate and that, bless marriage. No, 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 no. There's, no. there's nothing called bless. So then why do they? Why do you people bless the now marriage listen to this when, when, when vows are exchanged? If, because I know that the government mandates pastors... To be able to bless and officiate no, marriage, you're yeah, still using the wrong word. So, so what's the word? We are only we are only gazetted. But you bless it at no, the end the of the day. Is when you tell me you may kiss the bride cookie, after we are yes, cookie. yes. Now watch this. Okay. Blessing you are calling. It's not from any pastor. No pastor has blessed any marriage for it to work. The blessing of marriage is from father and mother, especially father. I'll come there. Okay. The law is mandating me under cap one two seven. That what a judge is doing at AMA, TMA, KMA, I'm doing the same thing. That is why I am not needed in your divorce. The certificate I give you is called value book. I have no say in that. This is it. The registered man must be gazetted or registered. The premises must be gazetted. So anybody who has gone through the situational whatever and is qualified as a gazetted man of God can officiate your marriage. The additions is according to your core belief. Mm. 
So you believe that my cloud, my cloud or cloud of witnesses mm. are in the church. Mm. So let me have the marriage in this premises. Me, God bless you and make you fruitful. Does it happen on your day of marriage? Okay. I am your pastor mm. and I've been teaching you why God wants you in heaven. Righteousness is not for a good marriage. So you think when you keep your virginity, God is going to prepare you a virgin to marry. Mm. My foot. Mm. The church uses virgins, but we don't raise virgins. Mm. God, charity doesn't begin in the church. It begins at home. So pastors, we have our role. Our role is that we have fortunately been gazetted by government to do this work. Mm. And we even have the right to charge a fee for doing that activity because it's not, it's not part of our calling. But government have recognized because we have been ordained. And he says, once you are ordained and you are following the particular people, go through these particular things and let me train you so that we can extend our hand for the venue and the person. Okay. So it doesn't make me a spiritual person that my presence will add you are anything just, you to are your just marriage. You are just mandated by government to be able to So do that's it. what we are doing. So okay. the church doesn't have marriage. So stop. And our Christian warrior and our church, there's nothing like that. There are only three marriages in Ghana and that is the Mohammedan marriage the traditional marriage, or what you call the customer marriage, and the civil marriage. That's all. None of that. There's nothing called church Pastor marriage. Pastor Salasi, do you, do you want to so say Pastor anything that, okay. before no. I, so, I, I so, ask my so next I question? So I think that exactly um, what um, Councillor Antra said, mm. we, we officiate marriages. But the point is that, this is a question I've always asked. Those days when our parents didn't take their marriages to church, they have lived to se for 70 years, 80 years, 90 years. So I think that we must redefine our role as a church. What really is our role? Like you said, I'm building somebody. Then somebody be a good husband, it doesn't happen one day. Somebody be a good wife, doesn't happen one day. It's not on the day of the wedding that I'll come and preach a good sermon and I'll come and bless them and then suddenly the marriage works. No. What we have to do is that we have to make sure that we are building them up so that they become mature people. Trust me, what is missing in marriage today is maturity. So for we, we are privileged today that we have been put in that category mm. that we can help them, we can guide them, mm. and also we can officiate it. Okay. But Salasi, uh, and, so I, and, 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 and are you aware that more than 98% of marriages are not working is yes, because I of know. pastors? Yeah. Because of what? Pastors? pastors? yes. Well, the part that they are not working, I'm aware, but I don't no, know. No, I'm saying that 98% of yeah. marriages are not working are caused by pastors. Well, we I are don't the know cause. about that research. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you. I don't I know. I, I don't know about that. I did this thing for a Was it a survey that you ran yourself? When was this? Which year was this? Oh, I mean, that was 2010 and 2012. And, and it, it has was not 98%. Changed. Because everybody you speak to, when they have challenges in their relations, the first person they will talk to is the pastor. Mm. And the pastor says, pray. When a man has beaten you, they are supposed to report him to the nearby police station. They say, pray. Mm. When you die, mm. then he says, catch him now. So, bear man has a son. So, nonsense. This is a beautiful point. And I want to ask something. Mm. Um, I've been counseling a lot of people, and this is a point I've said, and I've said openly in a lot of places, and some find it controversial. Okay, when 10 people bring marital problems to you, and as a pastor, I want to pray, trust me, only two works. Hmm. This is what I tell people, say, in, 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 say, in most of the time, because so, and like I said, God doesn't, God can do everything. God doesn't do everything. So if I'm dating a young man or if I'm dating a, a woman and I've seen some traits mm -hmm. that I don't like, are you telling me that I cannot go to God to pray to God and tell him, say, you know what? Percy drinks too much. Okay. I want Percy to stop drinking before I get married to Percy. Okay. So God okay. won't listen. It's not about God. It, a prerogative of God is whether he decides to listen or not. And this is what, you see, Okay, prayer goes beyond God giving us what we want. Okay. Otherwise, all, those people who don't pray don't deserve to get anything. Anything at all. Prayer yes, is those a, who prosper the Exactly. More. Prayer is a relationship. And in building that relationship, it's one of the ways I can place my needs. You know the most powerful prayer? Give me the, um, um, the serenity to accept the things. Yeah, I, I cannot, cannot change, change the things. Yeah. They are things that are known when you pray. So let's build this and let's build a, um, a society and let them know that mm. it is not every prayer that I'll pray now, um, even God will say yes. Mm. So maybe God knows that that person, he cannot change. I was speaking to a lady recently and he was telling me about a guy in his life and the reason why he cannot go ahead and marry the guy, the guy loves the girl, the girl is carrying everything, said, oh, so for, 
the guy is so much addicted to alcohol to a point, and he has spread. They, they've known each other for 12 years old. So it, it, it buttresses the point that I have seen so many times that some of the things, by the time the person says the thing, recently a very high case, divorce case in this country came to me. Very high profile, profile people. Case, and yeah. I told them that, listen, the people, the pastor's praying for them. The first day they came to me, I told them that only the marriage won't work. You go your separate ways. This is what's going to happen. You go to court, take what you take, I take. And in fact, in fact, it has happened now. But they have spent the last four months, pastors praying, praying, praying. Papa and I are not drink. It's not that God doesn't listen to prayers. The young man had made his mind that I don't need a woman again in my so life. So can't you pray for the Holy Spirit to convict the man? That's what I'm saying. That you, can't, see, you can't do that as it, a Christian. It, the point is that mm. we don't determine. And this one it's thing, God who man, determines. it is God that determines. Why is it that somebody, there are things we have been praying about. And God decides when I want to outside. But 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 must we fault this young lady here? It's not her fault that her dad has so been absent. So maybe now we come into yes. the it's not her fault that her dad has been absent. She she had nothing to do with it. Growing up from the age of thirteen, her dad has been totally absent. Now she had nobody to run to but this pastor, who's become a father figure in her life. Was she wrong to have even gone to the to the pastor the, in the first place to say that hey, I found a man that I want to marry and. Right. Oh, oh, she's, she's very, very wrong. And this is to caution all the young coming boys and girls in the church. That the church has a big mistake and we are following it. When things are wrong and you get to know it's wrong, we correct them. You hear an announcement in church. So from now until the end of the year, we have eight months for marriage class. If you are here and anybody promises you or tells you they want to marry you, see... Pastor Kobe, mm -hmm. and he will write your name for mm -hmm. counseling. Mm -hmm. Now, the first place is that when a man decides to marry you, the first person you tell is not your pastor. But my dad, I don't, I don't even know where he is. How do I no, tell him? Any time, any, any child who doesn't know where the father is, the mother is a witch. Just if your mother doesn't know who impregnated her. No, that's not what we're saying. This time around, no, no, she no. knows. You say, I don't know where my... That's yeah, but I don't correct. know where my dad is. So I'm is. saying that any child... Who I'm speaking for the many women out there who really and truly my do sister, not even know where their my father sister, is. When Maybe on him so, Kumase, but when, so, so, so when your or mother or doesn't know where him. your father is, she is a witch and wicked. <laughs> Then your mother is a wicked woman that what should have not live on earth. she done wrong? When a woman doesn't know the man who impregnated her. No, but that's not what we are saying. Can I land, Cookie? Land. The challenges we have is because people are hurting based on wrong mentality. A woman gets pregnant not by airborne disease, through sexual intercourse. Then, because the man is not ready, or some issues come, they allow the child to have some begrudge the father. Mm. So you meet a child who doesn't know the location of the father. Mm. But the mother knows. Mm. So if you're not able to show the child who the father is and you die, you are wicked. As useless as the man is, you give the person in to have sexual intercourse with you. If it's rape, I have no, that one is another issue. Mm. But once you agree, mm. and it goes on for you, and you didn't protect yourself. Let a child know who But why are you not but pointing out that, that the man has been irresponsible? They just got there divorced. There is no irresponsible oh, on. man George. on earth. Can uh, I Pastor finish? Sebastian, yes, please. When I finish, you understand. There's no who. There is no irresponsible man on earth. An irresponsible man is a man who cannot deposit a semen in a woman's uh, ovaries to so, make so her pregnant. So long as he's been able to impregnate because the woman, he's responsible. Because fatherhood is not feeding with cocoa. Okay, so he fatherhood is, is depositing a semen to become a being. So you're establishing the fact that so long as he's been able to impregnate a woman, that he's makes responsible. Him responsible. The next thing is that, so if you want to get married, and you say, this is my pastor, scripture that you read says, Genesis, Ephesians chapter 6, it says, children, first one, obey your parents in the law. For this is right. Then look at the next stage. It says, honor the father your and mother. father and your mother. So that your days this may be long. Is, so long life, prosperity, is not in the hands of a pastor. Yeah. So you only obey them. You're not, but, you but, but you are not allowing me to ask my question. No, I, I was no, answering because the Because if I cannot use the word irresponsible to yes. describe this father who has been absent, what word no, can I, I use? Because father, out of... Out, it's not an irresponsible father. Okay. 
He, he hasn't, hasn't been. Me, I'm not really. Hold, I'm hold on a second, Uncle George. Yes, he ma hasn't ma been present in the life of this lady because of way? the divorce that 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 happened between him and 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 the mother. Uh -huh. What has prevented him from being there for this woman? Let me tell you. The stories we we face in in our, in our consulting work times, mm. they are so wicked that you ask women, why do you do this? A woman walked like you are my daughter, and this is my wife. Then I walk, you go tell the father. What him say? Akrana, media chawa sun san enyawa. So behind your mother goes to tell your father that you are not the daughter. Mm. Then your mother comes to tell you on mm. pewasem. Okay, but so, I know what letter you must say. Yes, please. You but ask the question. Unfortunately, Uncle George, let time me, in if I don't land and I leave it peace, peace, that becomes confusing. Uncle George, but time in so I love you to follow that, Melanie. So once you think that the man is not even coming into the life of the child, you have more than 87% of men that the women, women have the reason why they're not coming back into the life of the child. We're not justifying it. But I'm saying that let the child know who the father is. Mm. And let's see what the father will not do. Because some women have told some men that they have been who mm. There are so many things women are using pain to do. Mm. This girl should know that the pastor doesn't have rights to marry her. So your first point of call when people propose that they want to marry you is your father. Not your pastor, because just okay. obey your father and honor so, your mother so, and father. So, so I think that two points must be drawn here, which okay. are, are for me are very important because we, one of the things we do here is to educate. I think that it's very important we realize that as much as certain women prevent after divorce or even because of some challenges, they prevent them children from getting access to their parents and the, the father, which is wrong. I think that we don't have to sit here and just say that the fact that somebody gives birth, there are people who have had the chance and they didn't take they care didn't, of the child. Uh, uh, Uncle George, they that's, are, they are that's, people, that's the point I wanted to get to. People, and he's chance. telling me that you can't no, call those people. You are they saying are that you can't call those people irresponsible. Who have the opportunity. Even the women they didn't have do to it. Beg. They the didn't do it. Have to beg. No. Okay, let me give you an example. Yes, and, and give Kassima, me example. Let me tell yes. you. Yes. There is, this one is not, I, I will never say anything on live television, and maybe the person I'm even talking about is watching. Yes. This is a man mm -hmm. who was, funny enough, he, a, a, a womb bank was, and Big error, young girl. He has never, he doesn't tell, for some reason, I don't know. He needs a male child. That's the reason. Oh, thank you. Maybe you have the reason. <laughs> That's the reason. Who is <laughs> It's an embarrassing yako warrior, and you before from any zero as father. On one case, the last one be a year two years ago, no, or by an OTA, and no, yeah, or be for from any air representing as father. Okay, can I can I say something now? Yes, for nice days. Uncle George, in the past, Salasi, please, me promote you. It's rather unfortunate that we cannot finish this today. Can we continue? Yes. Can we continue we can. next week? Yes. Because this must it, it must be discussed and we have to get yes. to the bottom of it. It's an issue that many people are facing out there. Edin Tawa Tawa by Busi Muni are sorry and in your money So um but, but, uh, we, we will we will five seconds. Okay. Before next week, mm. somebody might be watching right now that is going through the same challenge. Mm, okay. For me, I'm responsible for my comment and my um, statement. Pastor Snadja didn't have too much. But what they are going to say. 0277 609. Six or four. My okay. daddy, my daddy. Zero two seven seven. Okay. Six zero nine six or four. All right. Listen so to we will continue this discussion definitely in next week. Thank you for sticking in, staying with us. Miss G is coming with some entertainment. Pastor Lassie, Uncle George, thank you very much. We'll continue.